Radio tubers. Now I don't know any other way of doing this, but I reckon I need to do it thoroughly. So what I want to do is actually test that bank of batteries to its limit. So I don't know, I don't know how hot the inverter is going to get. So the plan is to run, we pan back a little bit so you can see what I've got happening. I just got the shed set up a little bit there with a old cracked Sony, oh what is it, Samsung S4. And I got a little five bar heater there. And I got fire extinguisher up there, but you know, it's just fire extinguisher. So the plan is, I'm going to run this for as long as possible. Now, if I get in front of here, should be able to see the battery voltage is 28.94 volts. Um, that's got a small load under it because it's charging the laptop, which was dead flat, and it's charging the phone at the same time. So the phone doesn't go flat. And so the plan is to do, what do you call it, fast motion or stop motion, whatever, on the power meter and of the voltage on, on that. And I've got my chair set up over there. Well, a little bit closer, but... So I'm gonna sit here for the next four hours and see how long this takes to discharge. I'm gonna aim for a in between 500 and 1000 watt load and see how many kilowatt hours that thing holds. It's gonna be a bigger test, I think, doing it this way than doing all the packs together. And I can do voltages on each cell after I finished and see what the voltages are after, you know, I don't know, I reckon this is gonna be five or six hour test. So I got me thermal thingy temperature sensor, I got me multimeter there just in case I need it so I can test each cell. And that is already recording. So let's start this test off by turning that on. Okay. I think we'll ramp it up slowly, we'll turn one on and put it on seven. So that'll max it out. So what have I got? It's 420 watts. The fans just kicked in. So we wanna, we wanna bring that up to, um, we, need to, we need to bring it up a little bit. So let's, I guess we got one, two, so we turn this one on, on seven. Brings it up to about 600 watts. So if that's got a, if that's five or six kilowatt hour pack, five kilowatt hour pack, that's still going to take too long to actually, to run that test all the way through. So turn both of them on, on seven. Ah, that's a little bit better, pulling 900 watts. We've got 900 watts and it's dropped to 27 volts under load, 28 volts under load. That's not bad. Okay, let's start this now. Let's see where we head up in a few hours. Let me go and sit in my little chair, load up a couple of games of Candy Crush and see where we end up. So we are about, uh, the timer's at the bottom of that, so one hour, 57 minutes in, it's 1.5 kilowatt. That was turned on a little bit before I actually started the heavy load. And we're at 25.75 volts, 71 volts by the look of it. Only problems is at the moment, there you go, 32 degrees. So that positive terminal there is a bit warm. So all the rest of the banks, there's not much to show you there really, it's all about 30 degrees. So I'll catch up with you in another hour. Cheers.
I've had to turn the heater off, uh, so it's got the 3.9 kilowatts. And the voltage after I turn the heater off, because there's almost no load on it, you can't even tell the load, even though the two laptops and a couple of phones are charging. So the, the voltage dropped, um, bounced back to 24.29 volts. It was at 22.19 volts. So all the cells are, are they, they are warm to touch. They are not hot, and that's in Fahrenheit, so that'll look a lot worse than it really is. So 34, 35. So if I go all the way down the pack, So it's definitely hotter up the top of the pack than it is down the bottom, and you can actually you can fit you can definitely feel that. So it's a fairly big test. Um, what was that four and a half hours? I've been sitting out here for four and a half hours, which is. A long time, but at least I can quantify this. We've got uh, 40 there. What is that pack actually hotter? That's interesting. That actually, that one is actually hotter, but it's not that much hotter. And I'm certainly not concerned about it because I'm pulling a thousand watts out of this battery bank. So we got bank two. Bank two is warm. There's no excessive heat. Well, there's warmth, but no heat in any of those connectors. Look, even though I got four, uh, even though I've only got four kilowatts out of that. Z 3.9 and it's been going for four and a half hours. I probably could have got a little bit more if the batteries are filled all, filled, filled all the way up. But four kilowatts, we got 23 minutes, or, uh, sorry, 31 minutes of um, recording on that camera. So I'm going to call that a test and I'm very happy. I would have liked to see five kilowatts, but like I said, I, I pulled a thousand watts out of it for four hours, uh, for four and a half hours, so not bad at all, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, this is just a test. This is a few minutes later, it's not directly after. Uh, it's 3.59 or the. 3 3.51 3.58 3.50 3.60 and 3.63 So it's a high bank and that's a low bank it got a bit warm. That, that's the hottest one, so I don't know what's going on there, but I'll definitely investigate that tomorrow. Well, I'm going to call that a night, YouTube. I hope that taught you all something, or taught me something, I guess. I'm pretty happy. Thanks for watching.